Hello friends, we're back here for another Ruby reaction. Today we'll be checking out Volume 5, Chapter 3. Let's get it! Alright. The visuals for this uh, season is really good. It's probably the best so far. And it doesn't really foreshadow too much. Not like Volume 2 where it already showed the fall of Beacon. Like, like this part. We see this. We see Oscar uh, eventually learn from Ozpin and Crow, I guess. But I, I'm pretty sure Ozpin is enough. We see. We already saw um, Adam and uh, Hazel confront the White Fam. Uh, we haven't seen Cinder and the uh, Spring Maiden yet. We see these two guys. Hopefully we do see this. That could be foreshadowing for a different volume, but... Come on, man. We need to see Hazel. I, I, I don't want to wait for another season for Hazel. We need to see some Hazel uh, this season. And that looks like the girls will be reunited. I mean, it makes sense, right? We saw Weiss uh, got kidnapped by Raven. And Yang is on her way there. So... I don't know. Maybe Raven can, like, open a portal to, you know, Ruby. Or Crow. <sighs> And maybe that's the plan. Are you ready? So what yes. are they doing here? It won't be easy for the people to hear, but the truth often isn't. So they're trying to convince the they'll people the right that uh, the White Fang is into some dirty shit. Mm -hmm. You've got this. <laughs> Give us like... Fuck you. <laughs> Thank you all for assembling here. I wanted to take time to address some of the rumors that have been circulating around our island. I believe that it is important for the people of this territory to understand the truth. No matter how you feel about the human race, I think we can all agree that the event now known as the Fall of Beacon was a tragedy. The Fall of Beacon. A tragedy that will set both man and promise kind back. While the main aggressor is still unknown, we do have official confirmation that Adam Taurus, the leader of a powerful splinter group working inside the White Fang, was partially responsible for these attacks. His actions not only tarnished the reputation of an organization yeah. originally created. No to doubt, it really fucked up the but who reputation of the Faunus. Easily Each beyond day repair. This man remains unpunished. It becomes increasingly difficult to condemn those that look down upon us. Like, if not the Faunus, the White Fang as a whole is like. Dead to everyone. Recently, a spy from this same splinter group set their sights on this very home. My own daughter, Blake, and her friend did their very best to apprehend this individual. While they were unsuccessful after being physically assaulted and seriously injured, they were successful in obtaining the assailant scroll. With this, we have been able to ascertain that Adam Taurus has plans to overthrow the current leader of the White Fang, Sienna Khan, and mm. take over the reins himself. His radical plans do not stop there. The documents on this scroll proclaim his next target to be Haven Academy and its attached CCT. I thought Sianna Khan was like on one of the leaders of the, beginning of the, fall semester. the White Fam, the like their multiple today. leaders, but apparently I she's like the head honcho. To the government of Mistral, making Adam the head honcho. My relationship with the White Fang has been an interesting one. Nice. Years ago, 
I led the organization to help try and create a world where I and every Faunus who wished could walk alongside the human race. And while I believe we made great strides toward this goal, it was made clear to me that the people both in and out of the White Fang wanted faster results. So I stepped down, and Sienna Khan was appointed as my successor. It's true that I do not fully condone many of her methods. What I do condone is what Sienna fights for. The idea that the Faunus and humans are, and should be, equal. Adam Taurus does not seem to have that goal in mind. What he has done benefits no one. The writing himself. for this uh, for this speech is really good. I think good. it's time that the it's Faunus show You don't have quotables, but you, know, you don't really need to. Time it, that we snuff it, out this it gets the job done, and, and it's very the convincing. White Fang to what it once was. Yeah, I can I can get behind that. To do this, I think the answer is clear. We must go to Haven and protect it at all costs. <laughs> We're like, uh, I don't know. Before we proceed any further, I'd like to invite my daughter to come and share her story. Not only as a former member of the White Fang, but also as a I mean, we could die at Haven, you know, it could, you, we don't fully trust the humans, it could be an ambush. You know, eradicate the white fan. But why would Gira do that though? <laughs> or maybe Gira could be played by, uh, you know, whoever. Ilya. Cowards. After everything the humans have done to us, everything they've put us through, you're asking us to help them? I know we haven't been treated fairly. Where was their help when the dust companies treated our people like slaves? Where was their help when kingdoms hunted Faunus just for being who they are? Where was my help when my parents were killed in a dust mine? Where? Oh. Lady, progress takes patience and cooperation. The Belladonnas are the worst kind of Faunus. Damn. They want us to work with the same people that are trying to hold us down. If you truly, truly want to help your people, now is the time to support Adam. Not the Belladonnas. He will bring about the future that you deserve. And if you are unwilling to fight, know that the White Fang will do it for you. Shut up! After her! <laughs> Did he age back? He's possessed or reincarnated. Oh, isn't it weird? I wish when Ilya arrives, they were just okay, it, it's her. Okay. She's the she's the spy. <laughs> Get her ass. A second and remember that this is very overwhelming for everyone. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, where do we go from here? Uh, sorry. It's just, I've never really met huntsmen and huntresses before. Well, uh, we've never met a person with two souls, so... First times all around. <laughs> <clears throat> Not to break up the whole getting to know you game, but we need to have a talk. Mind showing us your little parlor trick, kid? Uh... Yeah, okay. Just so you know, I'll still be here. Is it gonna like switch consciousness with Oz? Yo, yeah! It is so very good to see you again, students. Wow. That's so cool. Wait. What Mind shuffle. Happened? Professor Ospin? Correct. And though I may be the one speaking, Oscar is still present mentally. He's merely handed over the controls, so to speak. Just don't make us do anything embarrassing. I'm afraid this all must be very perplexing. And alarming, and bizarre, and just really kind of hard to believe overall. <laughs> 
It's good to see you children still have your sense of humor. I know you've all been through tremendous hardship already. Yeah, I wonder if we'll I'm know sorry. how how is this possible. I mean, is it part of his fault. semblance or is it you know something else? It's all my fault. I told you once that I made more mistakes than any man, woman, and child on this planet. Oh, that line! I wasn't exaggerating. I knew that line was some some I somewhat important. Cursed. Thousands of years I have walked the surface of Remnant, living, dying, and reincarnating in the body of a like-minded soul. Wow. The Professor Ospin you all met was not my firstborn, and clearly wasn't my last. Hell yeah. It's I will never have a final process on everyone involved. So who what are you? I am the combination of countless men who have spent their lives trying to protect the people of Remnant. With every rebirth, my soul is eventually merged with another. And I am changed. But my memories stay with me. This curse was bestowed upon me by the gods. Because I failed to stop Salem in the past. But we must stop her now. Wow. And how do we do that? We start by ensuring so, the safety of the relic of knowledge. The relic of knowledge. So that's the one in uh, uh, Haven. Very interesting. So I guess that means uh, the curse will only be lifted if he stops Salem, like defeats her somehow. <laughs> Well, well, But what well. happened? Like, Look who's awake. Hold up. Let me just monologue here for a bit. So, how does that work? Because he was punished because Salem couldn't... Uh, he couldn't stop Salem in the past. So, what did Salem do exactly that Crow wasn't able to stop her? Was it... Did she have a hand in creating the Grim? Because it did say that the brother of uh, destruction created them. So was that like bef And it's... It apparently... No, no, no. It had... <sighs> they made it sound like... Or the story Crow said was... They made the Grim first and then they made uh, humanity. So... I wonder what did... What did Salem do? To... And why was Oz been punished? Like, why is he uh, responsible for Salem? But yeah, anyway, that's what it sounds like. Oz been needs to uh, accomplish something that has something to do with Salem. Either, you know, defeat her, kill her, or something of that sort. And only then can uh, this so-called curse be lifted. Sorry about that. There's like a car, the driveway. Like I said, the driveway is like literally uh, in front of our house. Let's continue. What? What's going on? Where am I? You know, I never thought mm. I'd see a schnee in this camp. Spring. Very not. What do you want? Straight to the point. I like it. We don't normally deal in trafficking people. Not really worth our time. She looks like such but a dumb boy. Realized we had a schnee. I wonder no if change. she's, you know, attracted to Raven. You're going to ransom me back to my father. I mean, Ra Is Raven that it? could be hot though. It's a shame I mean, her outfit, like, doesn't really do get me hard, here. but, you know. I would never sink to your level. Just keep quiet and cooperate and you'll be back in your mansion before you know it. Don't make this complicated. 
What's going to make this complicated is when my sister finds out that I didn't make it to Mistral. You know my sister, don't you? Winter Schnee, special operative of the Atlas military. She's in Mistral now, and when she hears I'm missing, it won't take her long to find I don't me. think she knows Winter. And like, you. I don't think Winter is on the same level as <laughs> Old Man Crow, you know. Old Man Crow That's is so funny. Mr. Worldwide. Winter oh, doesn't seem to have that funny or sad, level of uh, recognition. You're clearly out of the loop. Your sister isn't in Mistral anymore. Oh. No Atlas personnel are in Mistral. Oh, anymore. that's right. General Ironwood closed the borders and recalled all of his little troops and tin cans. Yeah, I did. No one is coming to I think I did uh, mention that. Like, <laughs> how long does he want? Like, it's not really good for him to keep winter outside because it's a risk. It is right? We were stuck at a dead end, but now we can just take little cute boy off and have him sitting straight. Please don't call me that. Yeah, cute boy Austin. I mean, is Oscar cute? Uh, I think I guess in this show he is. But it I looks pretty average. But I guess Nora Nora wants some. That was the intention. Nora wants some. Uh, or lieutenants I can trust. Some Oscar. Especially during times of that competition, right? That's or maybe they can do like a meeting with Leonardo. He isn't just behaving irrationally. He's disobeying I think specific be instructions that. I had left him. Something's wrong. I don't want to jump to conclusions, but I don't want to rule out any possibilities either. No one outside of this room knows that I have paired with Oscar, and I think it may be best to keep it that way. Play things close to the yep. chest until I you do get the same hand. Precisely. Now we have two steps. I'm just an ordinary farm boy. First is enlisting the aid of more huntsmen. But the Mistral Council doesn't own every huntsman in the kingdom. And I've been here enough times to know where we can yeah, find Yeah, I thought some more. huntsmen are so primarily like freelance. They don't really are associated with a certain a kingdom. Fight. I'll throw together a list tonight. Good luck with that. <laughs> Pun intended. After that, we can move on to step two. What's step two? Getting you four into fighting shape. But we already know how to fight. You can only fight so long as you have Crescent Rose, but you're still lacking in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Yes, well, finally they addressed it. Yeah. Mr. Ark, I'm glad to hear you've improved, but sorry to say you've yet to unlock your semblance. Ruby literally loses 10 strength when she's not holding her to side. Or you're ready to pose any real threat against Salem and her forces. And though Oscar can give me temporary control, he'll need to strengthen his body and his aura. Wait, what? He'll inherit my muscle memory in time, but practice will expedite the Ooh, process. Dude, Ospin's muscle memory is like on a tier above everyone else. Well, I believe I was the headmaster of Beacon. Hell yeah! We have approximately one month. I'm the headmaster. Who do you think? Thought Salem Raven, attack, old man crow, your daddy. Students return. I wouldn't be surprised if Ozpin was the one who trained, you know, the iron daddy himself. Just don't expect me to go easy on you. You gotta be kidding me. I wonder if there's like a time limit where Ozpin can change to Oscar. Or, you know, control him. I bet it takes like mental strength to keep up that. Um... Oh, okay. She's gonna summon. That's actually a very handy semblance in this case, because that's what you need to escape. All right, so that's the episode. Okay. So basically, sorry, there's another car passing by. It is what it is. Okay, so 
basically what happened here just a quick recap we learn about Osbin's past he somehow um, was cursed by the gods because he he didn't finish like Salem and we really don't know the context of that it's very it's very vague it could be it literally could be anything and we learn about the plan of the Belladonnas to have the Faunus go to Haven to protect it because they did see I believe they did see like plants from Adam to did they say that Adam was attacking a uh, Haven I feel like I heard that or it could be just you know take out uh, Cyanacon Uh, so yeah, aside from that, we also learn about them. Their plan is to get more huntsmen, which is smart. And we are probably going to get like a training montage, Ospin, Lord Ospin, training uh, Team Ranger. That should be good. Hopefully we get John Semblance this season or next season. That would be cool. So yep, that's the episode. If you guys like the content, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers!